So here is example 5 on buoyancy. So here is the problem. A tank with vertical sides is 1.5 meters square, 3.2 meters deep, is filled to a depth of 2.8 meters. A cube of wood 1 meter on an edge having a specific gravity of 0.6 is floated in the liquid having a specific gravity of 0.8. So the first question, find the weight of the volume of liquid displaced. By what amount will the liquid surface rise in the tank? And number three, determine the increase in the pressure force on one side of the tank due to the placement of the wooden cube. So expect that these are the answers. Here we go. This is the figure. So we have a tank, open tank, with bottom 1.5 meter square perpendicular to the screen. It's also 1.5 meter and it is 3.2 meters deep. Then it, it is filled with liquid having specific gravity of 0.8 and the depth is 2.8 meters. So when the one by one by one uh, wooded cube or with the volume of one cubic meter is placed inside, naturally the original liquid surface will rise and hoping that this rising of the liquid surface will be less than the difference between 3.2 meters and 2.8 so that no liquid will spill over the top edges of the tank. So the analysis is weight of the cube and this is the increase in the liquid surface, the rise in the liquid surface delta. That's for question number two. So weight of the cube must be equal to the buoyant force. So the weight for number one, the weight of volume of liquid displaced is simply the weight of the cube. And the weight of the cube is, wooden cube is specific gravity of the wooden cube times specific weight of water. So that's the specific weight of wooden cube times the volume of the wood, which is one cubic meter. So weight equals buoyant force, but I use the expression for the weight which is specific gravity of the wood times gamma of water, specific weight of water times volume of the wood. So substituting 0.6 times 9.81 kilonewtons per cubic meter times 1 cubic meter will give us 5.886 kilonewtons. So that's the answer for the first question. For the second question, the amount of liquid surface rise in the tank, this is delta. So we will first compute the volume displaced and the analysis is take note that no liquid is added into the tank. So that means the volume of liquid up to this final level here minus the volume displaced which is bounded by this blue boundaries volume displaced is equal to the original volume of liquid in the tank. So that's it. So weight of wood is specific gravity of wood, gamma water volume of wood. Then buoyant force is specific gravity of liquid times gamma specific weight of water times volume displaced. So specific gravity of fluid, volume buoyant force times specific weight of water, that's the, the product is the specific weight of fluid times volume displaced. We can cancel gamma of water, then we have 0.6 times 1 equals 0.8 times volume displaced. 1 cubic meter equals 0.8 times volume displaced. So that means volume displaced is 0.75 cubic meter. Again, the analysis is volume, no liquid is added into the tank. So that means the original volume remains the same. So final or final volume up to this level where the depth is 2.8 plus delta, then minus volume displaced should be equal to the original volume up to this level, which is 2.8 meters deep, so that we can solve for delta. So final volume minus volume displaced equals original volume. The final volume is 
bottom area 1.5 meter square or 1.5 square times the depth which is now 2.8 plus delta minus volume displaced 0.75 equals original volume 1.5 square times 2.8 so 1.5 square times 2.8 plus delta minus 0.75 equals 1.5 square times 2.8. So solving for delta using your calculator there, delta is equal to one third meter or approximately 0.3333 meter to four significant figures. So this one third or 0.333 is less than the difference between 3.2 meter and 2.8 which is 0.4. So therefore, the figure is correct and no liquid is spilled over the top edges of the tank. So let's proceed to number three, determine the increase in the pressure force on one side of the tank due to the placement of the wooden cube. So when the wooden cube is placed inside the tank, the level rises to here. So that means the new depth is 2.8 plus delta, causing the force on the side to increase. This was the original level, so the force original is lesser than the force on one side is originally is less than the force on one side when the liquid level rises. So we will call, this is the pressure diagram for the final level, call that FF and F sub F and for the original level, this is the pressure diagram called that FO, where the difference is FF, F sub F minus FO. And F sub F is gamma of liquid, barred H final, because the contact area on one side is rectangular. So barred H is just half of the final depth. Barred H final is half of the final depth. And the area is rectangular, so 1.5 meter perpendicular to the screen times the new depth, that's the contact area which is 2.8 plus delta. Then for FO, it is gamma of liquid. Bard H original is 2.8 over 2 because this is just rectangular. Then the area original is 1.5 meter into the screen times original depth 2.8. So delta F is F sub F minus FO where FF is gamma of liquid barred H final area final or area in contact final minus gamma of liquid FO barred HO area original. Factoring out gamma of liquid, then we have H sub F barred H sub F area F minus barred HO area O. Again, barred HF is simply 2.8 less delta over 2. And area F is 1.5 meters into the board times final depth, quantity 2.8 plus delta again. While bar HO is just 2.8 over 2 and area O is 1.5 times 2.8. Substituting gamma of liquid is 0.8 times 9.81 kilonewtons per cubic meter times the quantity 2.8 plus 1 third over 2 times quantity area 1.5 times 2.8 plus 1 third. Then minus bar HO 2.8 over 2 times area one area original 1.5 times 2.8. So again, using your calculator, we can solve delta F, the increase in pressure force on one side due to the placement of the wooden cube, equal to 11.64 kilonewtons. So that's it for this problem. I hope that you were able to understand the solutions and the explanations.